Hello and welcome along to one of these vlogs on the tin whistle. I'm playing a B flat today, which is a bit lower, a bit longer than a D, but I've written the music out as over in D, so you can play it in your uh, high uh, D tin whistle. The tune is Coventry Carol, of course, three beats of the bar, and it's in my uh, new tablature that I kind of invented today. I've done a couple of these vlogs today. And the problem with this one, of course, is the half hold notes. There's a, a D sharp, which is, I mean, it isn't a D sharp on this, because obviously this is a, a B flat, but anyway, would assume it's a D sharp. If I was to cover all six holes, I'd have the note D, but if I half uncover this one, that's the note, and here it's a bit wobbly at the moment, I'm not very good at this. And basically, it's not exactly in the entire half of the hole, I kind of, kind of rock my finger up a bit, so it's, you know, leave a little bit showing. And obviously this will depend on which uh, whistle you've got. The lower the whistle, the bigger the hole, etc. So just nice and gentle. So you're going a semitone, E, E, D sharp, E. Like that. Then you come up to G, three holes covered. And then F sharp, there's uh, four holes covered. There's three of these notes. Like that. Then down to the E and the D sharp again that and then E and F sharp and G and A running up so five four three two holes covered back to F sharp four holes covered and then back to E five holes covered up to B highest note in the tune just one hole covered down to A down to G and then F sharp on the next page four holes covered Back to G, three holes covered, etc. F sharp, and then E and E flat again, or D sharp as you call it, same note. Then E and D sharp and E again. And to finish, A, F sharp and G sharp. So A and F sharp, two holes covered, four holes covered. And the last note is a G sharp, which is two and a half holes covered. So top two, and then the third hole, half uncovered or half covered. As you'll find on that there, G sharp. Um, so we're in E minor, we don't expect to find um, a G sharp in E minor. That's uh, one of those kind of weird uh, medieval type endings. Um, but it sounds really nice, isn't it? And interesting. I mean, the good thing is there's nothing in the upper octave, but the bad thing is you've got those two uh, half hold notes and they are quite tricky and with this lower um, whistle I'm finding I'm going to have to blow really gently. So that's as close as I can get it at the moment. It's still fairly early days for me, but it's really good fun, isn't it? And you're getting notes that you, you know, weren't really meant to get on this instrument, those half-hold notes. Um, they're a little bit harder. You have to be a little bit more careful. And obviously you've got to have a steady stream of air, otherwise you get these, this kind of fluttering sound, sort of nervous, warbling sound. You need that nice, pure stream of air uh, nice and gentle, nice and steady. There we go. Um, hark at me, eh? The expert. I'm, I'm really not the expert. Um, loads of people on, on the internet, much, much better than me, much better teachers than me at this. But I'm just showing you uh, my experience with it. I'm really enjoying doing it. i am um, been quite excited about this tablature I've come up with today. No doubt a lot of you will go, why are you bothering to change something that's been used for probably years and years and years? But I'm finding it a lot easier to look over my tablature and look down my whistle in that way. Anyway, uh, that's Coventry Carol. Obviously, if you play it on the D whistle, it'll sound different. It'll be higher pitched, um, but um, you know it'll still sound good nonetheless. So here we go. This is in D on a Clark sweet tone. I'm going to have to adjust all my fingering because the holes are that much uh, smaller. Let's sort of show you that. The uh, okay, see. I don't know if you can see that, but. 
take it from me, they are smaller and closer together, so I'm going to have to do a bit of reworking this. It may take a few takes, this. an edit in the middle there just to save time but that gives you an idea of what it sounds like in the higher key of D on this uh, high D whistle. Anyway there we go um, I'm kind of uh, muddling my way through this hope you're enjoying my little journey with this instrument uh, absolutely loving it and I'll probably come up with another one very soon in the meantime uh, take care and you'll see me in my next video.